depending when I got to bed last night, I usually wake up between 7 and 9 a.m., usually about six hours after I got to bed. First thing I do after getting up is instantly grabbing my phone like a true millennial. This is not actually my phone, this is a prop phone, because I record all my videos on my phone, so yeah, thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> and I usually spend the first couple hours after getting up on my phone. This works great because one, I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. I'm usually pretty tired because I'm usually cutting it pretty close on the amount of sleep that I need. And two, it gives me a chance to get all the customer service slash networking stuff that I want to do done. So applying to comments across all the platforms, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, I try to get all that done, making sure that I'm staying on top of it. Depending on how well a piece of my content did yesterday and how far behind I am, this could take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes per platform. Then as soon as I'm usually like fully up, I'll go and get a bunch of water, usually like two big cups at least, and then go back at it. And then lastly, I need to make sure I've sent my Zoom sessions for the day so that all my students have the links. All right, 9.30 a.m. is breakfast time, baby. Finally, let's eat. While my food's cooking, I go through my full wrist conditioning routine and or whatever part of my body needs conditioning. Every morning while my food's cooking, I'll condition again whatever part of my body needs conditioning. So right now my wrists do, so that I'm going through my full wrist conditioning routine while watching Mr. PewDiePie. Okay, so now it's time to eat my oatmeal. So basically I just have bananas, blueberries, oranges, almond butter, and flax seeds in it. So pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Just my staple breakfast meal. So while eating, I'll just watch a YouTube video or something on Netflix, basically depending what there is that day. Fatality. All right, 10.30 a.m., time to start editing today's YouTube video. All right, rough edit is done. Now it's time to get the music. All right, picking a thumbnail. I usually try to create my thumbnail before I finish the video, but the backdrop's so nice here, I don't think it'll be that hard to find one that's pretty good. And knee smash. This is too premeditated. This is kind of cool. I might just go with the basic one. It's just a nice CC. So I always create my thumbnails on my phone, just on an app called Fonto. I find it's the easiest and most kind of effective way to do it. Um, yeah, this is the process I go through. It's a little tedious, but you know, it gets the job done. Our YouTube edit is done. It was a pretty quick and easy one today, not too challenging, so I'm happy about that. Um, I have about 30 minutes before I teach, so we'll see if I can get up in time. Let's go. All right, so uploading my video, I gotta go through my description, I gotta go through my keywords, I have to get the title done, I have to make sure the thumbnails all lined up properly. Yeah, it's it's again a tedious process, but you know, it's, it's part of the process and I don't mind it that much. And then finally, making sure that I share on my Facebook breaking support group. Video is live, 10 minutes till I teach. I'm in PJs, God change quick, peace. Stop, bro. All right, so I'm taking my students through my full kind of active stretch rehab um, warm up routine. I really actually like this process doing it with my students online because it actually it gets me doing it too. Um, and it's, as I said, it's my personalized routine, so I want to do it anyway. So it kind of doubles that I get to do it as work and online. So so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty blessed about it, and it's it's actually really nice. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> Done, mandatory moment, lying down session. See you in the next one. All right, midday check-in, morning went well, YouTube edit went well, YouTube videos doing well, comments have been replied to just now as I was lying on the ground. Class has been taught, class went well, now I gotta get lunch, then I gotta do um, a big TikTok edit from what I shot yesterday, and then teaching again in um, two and a half hours. So we'll see if I can get the TikTok done before then. If not, I'll do like half of it now and then half of it once I finish. And by half, I mean the other half. Okay, let's go. So this is what my body would look like if it was just cutouts. <laughs> so this is what I'm basically gonna be doing to most of this video is just chopping out bits of my body and then putting it back in. So yeah, lots of key points and let's go. And it ends up looking like this. We have all the body parts all flying in, flying in, and then they get to the and boom. <laughs> so I found an editing trick, so I actually got that video done way faster than I expected to, so hell yeah, but I definitely left my food on the stove, so now it's probably cold again. But you know, I got into one of those editing zones, and when you get into those editing zones, sometimes you just go, man, so I just went. <laughs> So for today's lavish lunch, we have uh, bean, tofu, mushroom, pickle, black bean, rice, a lot of things, stir fry with a basic shake, you know, with spinach, blueberries, and all that jazz. Okay, update. Taking a breather outside. TikTok video done, Instagram video done, both posted. Um, also, 
that was a lot of food. Wasn't expecting to eat that much, but crushed it. <laughs> so I have like 20 minutes now until I start uh, next class. So I'm gonna quickly call my mom, see how she's doing, and then we'll take it from there. Class number two. It's like you're there, but you're here too. It's like, wow, it's like magic. Let's see if I can manage teaching class in my socks. <laughs> I'm hella lazy, fam. Let's go. So is it, are the weeks going by really fast for you right now? Or are they kind of slow? Yes, very. <sighs> Work done for the day. Flight 30. Check. Should go uh, Superstore, get food. Let's do it. First, let's check in on the videos, do a bit of customer service, reply to some comments, and then we'll go. All right, off to the Superstore. We are on phase two of the lockdown, so I, everything's kind of reopening but um, you still want to be pretty cautious. And I think that we're probably going to revert back to the first wave or the second coming of COVID is going to probably come soon. So that's what people say. So I'm trying to still be as cautious as I can. Um, apparently it's not good to wear gloves because you just kind of contaminate everything. So, but I've got my moisturizer. So, and by moisturizer, I mean like sanitizer moisturizer duo. So I'm going to be using that um, before and after I go into the store and they haven't been letting you use reusable bags, but I think that's lifted now. So I've got my backpack. Worst case scenario, I have to use plastic and then um, I'll just transfer it to my backpack. But yeah, no, I'm excited to get some groceries, bro. <laughs> it's been uh, a lot of the same for the last couple of days. So excited for that. Let's go. The best part about going grocery shopping, I think, is one, taking off your mask after you finish. And two, obviously, all the dang food you get, boy. Um, the level of respect I have now for healthcare workers has heightened so much, simply from like the discomfort of wearing a mask. Wearing a mask is so uncomfortable, and I wear it for literally like half, like an hour when going out. They wear it for all day. That just blows my mind a little bit. If you're a healthcare worker that's watching my videos, for one, that's dope. Can't imagine a healthcare work worker be interested in what I'm doing. But anyways, if you are, awesome. And yeah, just anyways, thank you. If you're wondering why my apples are bruised, one, I dropped them. Two, carrying a lot of groceries on foot is a, uh, it means a lot of stuff gets jumbled around and bruised. That's just the price you pay for not having a car right now. It's all good. Make applesauce, baby. <laughs> It's like eight o'clock now, so I'm gonna wash up all my groceries, get dinner started, and then probably sauna, and um, maybe maybe create another video. We'll see. You know, there's something very therapeutic and meditative about washing your groceries. It's not something I really did before COVID. Um, I mean, obvious like obvious things I did, but I didn't wash plastic wraps and stuff, you know. But I don't know. I don't mind it. It's kind of, it's nice. It's more rewarding. By the way, anyone up for some banana split? <laughs> more, uh, more, I don't, I should put that in the water. More bulk buying things that, just another, another thing, bro. Just gonna have to eat them quick. Eat it quick, baby. Oh, this one was split too. Nice work, bud. This guy's not happy either. Well, you know what that means? Banana ice cream, baby. If you got very ripe bananas or bruised or whatever, freeze them, chop them up, make banana ice cream, best thing you'll ever do, I'm telling you. When you need an evening pick me up. Woo! Let's go, boy! Maybe I wanna figure out a way. Okay, it's gonna be harder than I thought, so. We're gonna put a pin in that, because I need to go to know my son. Oh. Sugar, nothing gets better. I love that. Look, baby. Dinner, dinner, dinner time. Time to sit back and unwind. Stretching in the sauna at the highest heat possible and taking as cold showers as possible daily has probably been the number one reset button I've found for my life and my body that has been the most effective. I really can't um, 
begin to even explain like the benefits of it that I find, but mentally, physically, spiritually, everything. I just, this is probably, again, the number one hack that I would say I've found and that I use daily that really has just benefited me wholeheartedly. Now, unfortunately, this is just the second half of my stretching routine in the sauna, but it being a sauna and it being very hot, I obviously can't keep my phone in there that long. So I just came in for the end part of it. This is also where I come up with some of my best uh, video ideas. I always think of my next day's content when I'm in the sauna stretching. <laughs> Alright, it's 11 o'clock now, just finishing up dinner, and then I get into the goodies of the day. This is basically where I allow myself to kind of have my guilty pleasures. So today I got chips and Oreos, which is really nice. I try to not have this too often, but once in a while. And then, yeah, just gonna dial it back, watch some shows, and then after that, play video games for a couple hours. I didn't allow myself to have any games on my computer before quarantine, but during quarantine, I really need to give myself a little bit of extra just support in areas and because I can't go out and be social and play games with people in real life, I like to play online and be competitive in a quote unquote safe environment. <laughs> okay, got some good games in. It's like 1.15 a.m. now. It's time to sleep. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Thanks for spending the day with me. Hope you guys have a great one. Peace. Megan Spagnino out. See you guys tomorrow. Love is love. Love is love.